Yeah, you're born in the flesh. You're born in this world, you're born in the flesh, and then when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, you're born again. You become a new creature. Jesus himself takes your heart of stone, gives you a heart of flesh, and puts the Holy Spirit in you and brings you into relationship with God. It's not about religion. Roman Catholicism, Islam, all of them rubbish. When you put your faith and trust you, in Jesus... Can you prove what you're saying? Yeah, I can. So, I, want, I want to follow the truth, that's what I'm asking you. But okay. Everyone makes their claims, you know what I mean? So like, I need proof. Well, okay, that's fine. So basically, um, all religion, every single religion, Roman Catholicism, Islam, Jehovah Witness, Mormonism, they all say that, you know, they all have their own ideas as to who they think Jesus is. Right. And they all say that you have to join their church and their religion. Right, okay. And they're the truth. And they, in order for you to get to heaven, you have to be a good that's person. What you're saying, though, no, I'm saying you're not a good person. None of us are. But we have no hope apart from Jesus Christ. But when you cry out to him from your heart and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner, and you believe that he is Lord, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, Jesus himself will supernaturally, God, for a miracle, will supernaturally give you a new heart, put the Holy Spirit in you and bring you into relationship Can I say something now? Like, see what you say. Yeah. Like, I know everyone's got their own position, everyone's got their own position. It's not a position, it's not a relationship. Let me finish. Everyone's got their own position, whatever they preach or cook them. What I'm asking you is like, do you have any like proof of this? Because everyone says, that's not real because of X, Y, Z. Have you got actual proof for it? Like, every, every claim you're making, can you prove it? Well, yeah. I mean, we can read the Bible. In Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Right. 700 years before Jesus came into this world, it was prophesied for a prophet called Isaiah that the virgin would conceive a child, that he would be Emmanuel, God with us, that he would suffer and die for our sin, and that he would rise again and on the third day. And it's, it's about right dividing God's word. So if, for example, Isaiah 7.14 says that uh, the virgin will conceive a child, his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah 9.6 tells us that to us a child is given a son is born, and upon his shoulders shall be the government, and he shall be called Mighty God, one who comes to Prince of Peace. Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53 talks about him suffering and dying on the cross for our sin, but after he has made his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his sin for long as day. Isaiah 51, 9 and 10 talks about him rising up. He says, Awake, awake, O arm of the Lord. That's the one that's revealed to us in the third of Hebrew. Put on glory, you who are from ancient days, because you the pie of the Red Sea, you that say, Wait, have you the wind of the dragon? So why is it that Jesus never says he's God then? So Jesus does say he's God. So when they, when they questioned him, and they said, you, uh, you know, when he said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do as your Abraham, you would love me because I came from God. And they said, what? Um, you know, Abraham, is, you're not yet 50 years old and you think you've seen Abraham. And he says, before Abraham was, I am. That's not him saying it. And yeah, but if you also go to Revelation 1a, he says that he is the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the great I am, the great I am. And then if you go to Revelation 22, 16, he says he's the first and the last, the great I am. And when all he these, all these, One second, one second. All these verses like, you put on, they sound very like, they're not explicit, do you know what I mean? It's like, you're reading into it. Because like, respectfully, then you've got like, in the Gospels for example, yeah? Like, Jesus says like, God's greater than him. He also says that, um, you can't do nothing without God, for example. So he's dependent. That's a bit hard. No, no, God. He said it hard. Okay, he's fine. Then. Semantics. No, no, semantics. Can't do, the, fact, the fact that he can't do something without someone else, you know what I mean? Or he gets hungry, he doesn't know something. How can he be God? Like? Well, like I said, God, what he did was he basically he took on flesh. So he became as every bit as human as we are, yet we've outsit. So all the temptations that we face, he faced. He got hungry, he got tired, you know. But but how, he how, can God, how can God be hungry or tired when he's ultimate? Because Basically, you see, you're God in heaven at the same time as filling the universe up with his spirit, okay. and at the same time being here with us. We have three persons of the God. I've got a question. So, like, you say God came down in human form. Yeah. When he came down in human form, was like the heavens empty? No, was he not there anymore? No, he was still there. Jesus said it. And he John 3. And he so he came down, but he was still there. Yes, what he said. Jesus said it in the Gospel of John. Do you have John? Fair enough. Jesus says it in the Gospel of John. Where, where, where I respect your time. Thank you for the conversation, but there's a lot of contradictions in that video, but thank you. There's a DABC on how to be safe. You know what I mean? Jesus said it in the well, I've listened to you speaking up here just now, and um, it's quite obvious to me that you've um, 
we've experienced some difficulties in life. And I don't know, um, I can fully understand the journey that you were on and, the way you, and today, where you came to today. I understand all of that. I also, um, religion, I think, I think, you, I think that you believe what you believe about religion and Jesus and God. I think that it suits you. It doesn't suit you. I didn't see that. I went down there, you know, and even went down the road. I never, I never said that. What I listen. Well, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. I want the truth. So I put it this way. I got truth. Do you want the truth? Do you want the truth? Can you stand the truth? I did I know the truth. Oh, you know the truth. Well, then if you want, you can't know the truth and want the truth at the same time, do you? Why do you why do you use the word born again? Who told you about this? Okay, good. Okay, good. Jesus. Yes, I do. I do. I know what it means. Well, I tell you what it means. If you if you understand the teaching of Jesus, right? And if you, oh, I'll give you an example. This woman committed adultery, and they were going to stone her to death. And then Jesus came and said, "Let him who has not thrown the first stone, let, let him who have not who have sinned throw the first stone." The question is, did Jesus believe who was in them for saying that? No. Because when he healed the blind man, his disciples turned to him and said, Master, who sinned? Was it his parents or the blind man himself? And Jesus turned to them and said, No one sinned. So in other words, in other words, Jesus taught us that we were not sinners. But he did talk me. Just a second. Just a second. But he did. So what Jesus said, he, he repeats this again. He talks about this, this wall falling down on his 18 Jewish And he says, and somebody said, he says, people think it's because they were worse to him than others. He basically says that our suffering is not because of God. Our suffering is because God is glorified. And he is glorified. If it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't have gone through any of these things. I give up all the I am saying that your heart is found from what is Jesus God and, in, and yet in the scripture Jesus told you five times because he knew that they were people. just a second Jesus told you on five occasions that he is from the seed of David. Have you read that? And if you if you read if you read the last verse in Revelation, that was the last truth he told us. And then when you go to the lineage of David, you have Joseph, who is his biological father. And Jesus said, Jesus said, in Psalm 110, 